Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. You can ignore my shopping list down in the right corner. Or you can be nosy. I recorded a whole portion at the beginning of this video opening this new pack of watercolors. And I was so excited and then I started this voiceover and I had to stop because Literally that entire part turned black and I cannot get the video back like I tried I don't know So we're just gonna start here It didn't save the recording of the sketch either. That's okay Well, let's talk about this as I have mentioned in the past couple videos I have taken a break from looking at other people's art on Instagram and stuff. And I'm just kind of doing my own thing right now. I support other artists and I think it's very important to do that. But for the sake of like my own style and everything, I felt like I needed to just take a break. And I feel like this is probably one of the best things I've ever done as far as... Um, how do you say it? getting to where I want to be, expressing myself the way I want to. <laughs> so yeah, this is what I'm doing. I decided, you know, I think I wanted to do something more surreal and I really like nature. Let's jump in and put some plants in here. I've done a couple pieces in the past with like plants in people's hair and stuff, but I've never really made the plants kind of growing from the head, and I thought this was so fun! I decided I wanted to avoid a regular skin tone. By the way, did I mention that these paints that I opened, these are not gouache paints. This is watercolor. It's from Windsor Newton, and... I haven't used watercolor in a really long time. So at first it kind of felt counterintuitive because I feel like gouache is just more intuitive. I mean, you can layer light colors on top of dark colors and boom, it shows up. It's great. Anyway, back to this. I avoided using actual skin tones. I feel like I do that too often and I... I guess I see things differently in my mind sometimes, but I'm afraid to express it the way I want to, so I just go back to skin tones. But this time I was like, you know what, I'm not doing that. I see it this way in my mind, I'm gonna just try it. And so I did, and I wanted it to be kind of like, plants are growing out of her head, so maybe I should make her kind of greenish blue, like a plant. <laughs> And, I don't know, I kind of felt tempted to go back over it with more fleshy colors, but I was like, no, you can't do this. You're only allowed to add pink to, like, her nose and stuff. Do not add anything else. So, I think adding that limitation really helped me. And then, I did some succulents up top in her hair. And, they took so long. <laughs> Drawing plants literally takes so long but I feel like it is so rewarding and it is fun and you know this is the kind of stuff I like to grow on my porch so I feel like growing it is really fun too <laughs> anyway let me know down below what the last thing you drew was I would love to know or the last thing you painted I ask you guys this all the time But I kind of feel like, you know, you're coming here and you're watching my video, but we are an art community. There's no, like, I and team kind of thing. It may sound cliche, but I feel like we are all here to share our art with each other. So I love when you talk about your art on my videos. You know, I don't really care. I know some artists don't like that, but I love it. I love when you share. I just... I can't do anything about the links thing. Like, if you guys post links or advertise your social media, like, YouTube just automatically filters that out. But, 
I like when you talk about what you do. <laughs> so yeah. And if you want to show me your stuff, you can totally follow me on Twitter and tag me or on Instagram. I always check those two things. So one thing I am trying to do more with my art is to capture more expression. And so I want to tell you a little bit about this piece now that I told you a little bit of like what I put into the piece. Here is my thought process. Here is why I'm doing expression, etc. All right, so you may have noticed recently that I have not been posting every week. Some people have been asking, Miranda, where are you? I was hoping for a video today. <laughs> and I'm really sorry about that. Well, life has been really busy, but I have been so happy lately. Like, I don't know, I just, I love this time of year, I love when family gets together and I can spend time with them, I feel like my husband has had a lot of success lately, he just took his boards for medical school and things are great on his end and just everything is so good right now and I haven't really had time to reflect on all of that good stuff that's happening, but I feel like this was kind of the thing that was uh, expressing it all and it was so fun. So what this is is kind of like, it kind of re represents me in a way I guess. Not to get all like deep and emotional, but in a happy way of course. So her eyes are like closed and it's as if she's just kind of taking a moment and all the stuff that's springing out of her head and growing, you know, she's growing as a person, you know, she's meeting new people, etc. Everything is great. As I said, it's colorful, it's great, blah blah blah, but it's kind of like there's an outpour. So later you will see what I mean. This piece is titled The Outpouring, or The Outpour. I haven't decided yet, you'll know by the time I post the title. I think it'll be The Outpour, but I've been balancing on this name for like a long time now, probably like a week. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, it's gonna get a little abstract here soon. If you've seen it on Instagram, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, but it's kind of like all this good stuff that she, or I guess I am thinking about, all the stuff I'm reflecting on, was just kind of pouring out at that point. You know, you reach a period of going through things, whether it's growth, happiness, or maybe you're feeling down and sad. You know, that is completely okay too. But eventually you have to express that. It, it just comes out somehow. So, yeah. I think that's kind of cool. But, you'll see. There are some portions of this video that slightly skip, and I kind of just forgot to turn the camera on at certain parts and record, so I apologize for that, but for the most part, it's all here. <laughs> so I think after doing this piece, I, for one, I feel a lot more comfortable not using as many reference photos, just kind of going off of what I feel. And sometimes I feel this pressure to draw what's trending or, you know, have a certain style just because I feel like a lot of, uh, I don't know, a lot of the stuff I've done in the past, I just feel like maybe I shouldn't stray from that, but I don't really care now. I mean, I'm not trying to sound careless, but... I just feel like it's better to express yourself and feel more comfortable doing art in the way you want to express yourself. So that's been a lesson for me. Anyway, you see this like smoke, smoky red mist just like kind of growing from her head. And that's kind of like the expression that's coming out. So it's like the outpour of like all this good stuff and... 
You can tell this character seems very calm, content, and I don't know. That's just how I felt. I think it's better expressed looking at it than with words. <laughs> but I hope you like it and I hope you feel like you can relate to it. I don't have much else to say, I guess, but yeah. Anyway, I encourage you guys to try different things to develop your style. If you feel like you're in a rut, I would definitely suggest just taking a break from looking at other people's things sometimes. Or the opposite, go look at other people's stuff for inspiration because I find that both work very well. Right now I feel so refreshed and inspired. Like, I just wanna crank out so much art right now. I have so many ideas. <laughs> and I just feel like I'm ready to go. I'm ready to do this. So, yeah. I kept stopping at the end and then deciding like, oh, I should add this, I should do this. And so it was a lot of like, I think I'm done. No, I'm not. I think I'm done? Nah, not yet. <laughs> anyway, we're just about finished. And if you like this piece, you can head over to my Etsy shop. I will probably sell like 10 prints or so. I'm not really sure. It's probably going to be a limited edition one. I've been doing that lately. I'm not sure though. We'll see. You'll see, I guess. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day, guys. Do some art and be happy. See you soon. Bye. I feel like the endings to my videos are so awkward all the time. Okay, bye.